What's up, everybody? I know uh, by the title of this video, everybody's like, what in the world are you doing? Because that's what I thought when somebody suggested it to me. But um, I think it makes perfect sense. I have did some research about it, and um, I think it's going to work out great because uh, I noticed a lot of people paint, like, tractors and, like, metal fences and stuff with uh, foam rollers, and they use that Rust-Oleum black, like, I don't know, some kind of, like, exterior paint. Um, but anyway, um, I think it's going to work great because I watched a guy roll a Jeep. He roller painted an entire Jeep and it came out fine. And I think it's going to be perfect for what we're doing because we're going to beat this car up anyway. People are going to wreck into me. I'm going to wreck into people. As you see the last video hit the wall. And I think it's going to be way easier, more cost effective to just paint a fender back black and it will still be shiny. It'll still be black and um you know 20 30 feet away you're not even gonna tell i mean honestly i looked at a lot of those and it's not very orange peely like it looks like a smooth surface so um it's gonna be good enough because we're gonna wreck this car people are gonna wreck into us and we don't need to spend a whole lot of money on paint and other things like that so i don't know how i'm gonna film this video uh it's probably gonna be over a couple days because i gotta peel off a lot of the wrap that's still in the car because it had a white wrap on it um i might plug a picture in here so you can see. so yeah the car's just baking out here in the sun it's gonna help out this is that wrap i'll send you guys about it's just cheaper stuff you can see it's like coming off already and like it definitely started peeling off down here like all on its own so it's been baking for a while. Like, see, it's just going to come right off of there. We'll just peel all that off, get the car stripped down real good, and um, paint it. You know, when I bought this thing, it had that flat, that flat white wrap on it, and it looked like a really nice car. And I was like, dude, I'm just going to rip the wrap off because the paint underneath, like, I, I peeled off just a little section, and I seen that the silver was in really, really good shape. So I was like, I'm going to get rid of this flat white wrap because I don't like flat colors. <clears throat> And then I ripped the wrap off and this is what was underneath. They like did some spray paint on it. I don't know why they did that, but yeah. But then once I already tore the wrap off, I was committed. So here's what it is. We'll paint it, we'll slap some paint on it. It'll be fine. And um, <clears throat> we're gonna go from there. So I uh, was trying to take my headlight off and I found that this was broke. It had to have been from the, when it hit the wall. Maybe it pushed his headlight in and broke this tab. Not that big of a deal. Got two other bolts to hold it in, but yeah. That's what it looked like before I took it off. I think the hit that tail light a little bit and cracked it right there. No big deal. It's all good. It's just a drift car. All right. This is being a pain. Um, getting all this wrap out of it, all these little places. Um, but pretty much down to just the rear bumper now. Um, and the side skirts, but I pretty much got everything off. I had to take a bunch of stuff apart. I went ahead and took the door handles off the car and the tail lights and stuff. Um, just to make it easier so I can sand it and paint it. And it looks like, halfway looks like something. Um, but, I don't know. We'll see. But, I'm like, got to take the rear bumper off so I can get all this little e wrap pieces off. But I was able to get all these once I got the tail light and stuff off. But, yeah we're getting close um the side skirts are gonna suck i'm kind of looking at this and it, it almost looks like this wheel is kind of tweaked a little bit i don't know i don't know maybe i'm just thinking about it i've literally been at this for like three hours sun's going down i did not think it was gonna take this long there's so much wrap it's like every crack corner i've had to take body panels off it's just been a nightmare, but we almost got it. Almost got it all off. Last little piece. The last little piece, that's it. Got all the other wrap off. Got the door handle loose. This thing's ready to sand. All right, it's all finished. It really sucked, it took forever. But we're gonna head and hose the car down, sand it up. And uh, that'll probably be it. We'll maybe go tomorrow, we'll paint it or something. It's getting late. 
So I thought I had some sandpaper, but I didn't. I only had a couple sanding blocks, so I just pressure washed the car really good. And then I kind of did like a wet sand, and then I let it dry, and then I really tried to scuff up the uh, clear coat with those sanding blocks, but I didn't do the best job. I might have to go get some sanding paper and kind of scuff it up, but it looks like it kind of scuffed itself up some. It's just hard because the car's still wet and the sun's beating on it. Um, but yeah, I think I got it all scuffed up. Should be good enough, really, I think. Here, we'll check it out. Can't tell, because like I said, the sun, sun's still kind of shining on it. But you can kind of see like where it's drying. You can see it's kind of dull. It's all scuffed up and dull. Um, like I said, I don't know if it's good enough, but hell, most of the cars had spray paint and all kinds of stuff all over it anyways. All right, so after the car dried, I wasn't real happy with the scuff up job. So I went and got some 80 grit, which is probably really aggressive, but most of the car is already pretty much sanded. This is gonna kinda, it's gonna do a quick once over. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on it. Um, but we got our Rustoleum enamel black. That's, um, all the research I've done says that that's the uh, best way to do it. All right, it's been a long process. Been pretty much working on this all day. Um, I have the car pretty much scuffed up. Definitely good enough. I don't know if you can see how dull it is. Um, the LED lights kind of mess with the, the camera. I don't know if you can see the black lines. It's a little weird, but everything's pretty much smooth. I'd say most of the clear coats knocked off. Um, it does still look really shiny just because, like I said, the LED lights are super bright in here. But you can, if you get up on it, you can see it's been roughed up. Um, I think it's going to be good enough for what we're going to do. Black paint, foam roller. We're committed, boys and girls. I'm just going to do the hood, I think. I really, I don't know. I bought extra rolls because I don't think you can rinse that stuff out like house paint. Like, I don't think it works like that. I think it's a totally different deal. But we'll figure it out as we go. Car scuffed up. I'm going to tape, tape my headlights up. We're just going to do the hood real quick. See what that, see how that comes out. And then maybe tomorrow, or if I feel like I can do the car, I'll do the car, but I really don't don't want to rush it. But anyway, let's see what we'll get into. Smack yourself, smack myself. It actually looks good. This is crazy. Like, it looks a little orange pilly, and I think there's some stuff that I couldn't get off the car. So there's like some little areas, but I think a second coat of paint will take care of it. But is the weirdest thing ever like the paint doesn't like go onto the car and stick it like once you put it on there you like gotta step away from it and it like self levels out or something it's weird it's the wildest thing i've ever seen but it like fills in the blanks on its own um and it looks sick I'm not gonna lie it looks sick like it looks really orange pilly because of these led lights but i guarantee after this dries and you put it outside is 10 times better than spray paint. Like if you're gonna spray paint your car, you might as well just roll the paint it because this stuff looks sick. It looks really good. Look at that. That is a roller paint job. Like I said, there's like some weird stuff that I think I just, some oils, I couldn't get off the car. And I'm thinking maybe a second coat will take care of that. But dude, you step back five, 10 feet, like you see this thing on the track, like I come swinging by in the bank with this thing like this, it's gonna look sweet. like. I don't really care, like it's not a show car, it's totally a drift car, but if you're gonna spray paint your car, go get a foam roller and a, and a gallon of uh, Rust-Oleum and Dynamo paint, dude. Like it's sick, this is sick. And it's going on pretty quick. I really haven't been painting that long and I kind of just got on the fender a little bit there just to kind of clean the roller out. Um, but I think I'm committed to do at least the front of the car here. It's sick. What are you yelling about? There's all the V8 stuff. One day, we might, one day, we put that in here. But yeah, dude, this is awesome. Totally happy with it. Like I said, some weird little spots, but that'll touch up. Once it dries, I'll do another coat maybe or use my little touch up brush, but sick, dude. Happy with this, really am. All right, boys, that's a wrap for tonight. It's getting late. I got to work in the morning. I'm super tired, but man, really, like this is just slick. I, I think it cost me like 
60 bucks to get everything I, to do this. Plus like, I don't know, sandpaper. Like 60 bucks, dude. I bought a little foam brush. I'm gonna go through and touch up all these little areas that the roller couldn't get. But yeah, dude, I mean, this thing's gonna go down the track and it's gonna look, it's gonna look sick. But you get up on it, it's a little rough. I think the orange peel is probably not gonna go away. I think a lot of that is just spots that are on the car I couldn't get off. I tried to clean it the best I could. But yeah, we're just gonna cut it. And when I get off work tomorrow, we'll pick it up and um, probably finish this car. But dude, super soap. Well, that's a wrap. Uh, it's the next day. I didn't really film a whole lot of this. I kinda just wanted to get it done. Um, but you see it. Man, um, I got mixed feelings about it. It looks okay, but you can obviously see a lot of the imperfections and there's some roller streaks from where I kind of did like a second coat, but maybe it wasn't quite dry and it doesn't look like it's gonna dry out and go away. Um, hood came out fine. There's some rough spots on the car. I think, you know, some better prep work would have went a long way. Like, you know, would have actually sanded the car and actually like, you know, took some time on the prep work. Definitely, you can make this look way nicer, but for just seat time drift car, we're gonna wreck it anyway. Uh, I think it's fine. I mean, you step back 10 feet and you never know. You see this thing going down the track, it's gonna look slick on the track. Um, but obviously if you step up on it, you can see there's a lot of imperfections, but man, it's good enough for me, dude. For low effort, about $60 in materials, and this thing's all one color. It looks way better than it did before. So we were rolling around five different colors and wrap and all kinds of stuff hanging off the car. So, um, yeah, man, this is it, dude. Um, hopefully you get some sick shots of this thing, uh, outside of the car next event. I'm going to try to, um, set up another camera because we've been using the phone and it ain't been very good quality, but, um, hopefully next event we can get a good camera out there and get some good outside of the car footage so all right we're out peace